Well, here we are. I'd say probably day four into this project, and uh, I'm probably really, really close to getting this thing uh, ready to fire. Um, it's Friday, and uh, I'd like to be on the go test it in the lake tomorrow if I can. Uh, it's gonna be a little windy, so I don't know if we're gonna take the big boat out or not. The wife sure wants to, but um, I just want to get this thing done so we can either have some fun with it or sell it or throw it away, one of the two. Found out something rather, rather interesting a minute ago. Getting everything together here, got the, the, the electrical box put back together. Mental note, make sure you attach the starter power wire before you put everything in. I'm now having to take the uh, exhaust pipe out here uh, just so I can get to the starter and attach the power wire. So um, if anybody's building one of these things, make sure you do that. Um, this thing seems to be kind of a, everything has to be done in a certain sequence or you're never going to get to it, period. Just ain't going to happen. So, yeah, it's real fun. Well, she runs. It's kind of cool. Watch. Pretty awesome. A little smoky. That's okay. So I'm going to take it up to the... Uh, I think I got a little bad gas. I had to prime it pretty, pretty much to get it to, uh, to get it to fire off. And I was sitting there cranking away, figuring out why the hell wouldn't it work. Well, I forgot to put the lanyard on to uh, actually let it run. So I'm going to go up and put some fresh gas and uh, richen up the uh, fuel mixture for the break-in of that first cylinder. I'm going to mix it at about 30 to 1, 32 to 1 around that area, so that way I can run the first 10 gallons for break-in through it. And uh, I'll stick the uh, drive in it. Uh, when I get back from the gas station and uh, finish this thing up and then tomorrow morning we'll take it to the lake and uh, see what we can do about break-in. Well, I'm proud to say she's 100%. I uh, just went up to the, uh, the gas station and uh, I put in a quart of Polaris brand uh, oil uh, and eight gallons of gas. And for all you mathematicians out there, that's 32 to 1. Yes, I know that's probably pretty high mixture to gas but I'm trying to break in that one cylinder that I just rebuilt and it has brand new rings so therefore I want the uh, the, the rings to, to seat properly in that crosshatch uh, pattern of the new uh, new cylinder so everything is back where it should be um, everything's clean everything's nice I've gone over every single uh, connection in here yes there's a little bit of water still left in there from when I washed it out it'll evaporate I'm not worried about it um, everything seems to be fine. The thing starts up and, and, um, and, uh, and, uh, runs perfectly every time. You shut that door. Awesome. Okay. So. Just perfect. Sounds like that impeller's rattling a little bit down there. I seem to remember being that. It's kind of normal. We'll see. If it tears itself apart, we'll learn. <laughs> but I got the uh, drive back on, and uh, I used the one out of the uh, other jet ski because the impeller was in much better shape. The bearings were in very good shape. Everything was perfect. And also just checked the trim, so everything's fine. So tomorrow morning, I will head out to the lake and see uh, if I can break it in, see if it's worth a crap, if it even runs right. It seems to be. Every time you fire it up, it... Well, uh oh, what's going on here? I have to remember to put the lanyard back on every time. I've done that three or four times and gone, man, what am I doing wrong? So now. kind of disturbing, but we'll see.